sounds unexpected. Lovely to see you all. You're all looking very enthusiastic. My name's Les Carr. Uh, and I'm a professor of web science at the University of Southampton. Uh, and that means it's my job uh, to study the technologies of the web and how it impacts society. Uh, so I can see that some of you are thinking, well, he's looking a bit grey-haired for being up with the latest internet trends, isn't he? And I'd like to start off by making it clear that I think the term silver surfer is really quite patronising. And I'd like you rather to think of me as a kind of replacement hipster, okay? So, I started out... Oh, well, I started out uh, applying for university to study a PhD all about the internet. But I could only get in at quite a rough place. You might have heard of it. It was called the 1980s. Um, and the, the computers that they had there were all like really big, blocky things with huge, boxy monitors. And they had modems. Uh, any of you young enough to remember modems? Yes? So modems are a way of connecting to the internet by making a noise like a duck farting. And it was... It was a simpler time then. Uh, Banana Rama were top of the pops, and um, and the the new web was full of poems and recipes and cat videos. You know, mainly cat videos. Everyone was sending cat pictures to each other. It was a real obsession. Um, and now, of course, we're much more sophisticated. We've got advanced smartphones, we've got 4G, we've got streaming media. And the internet is full of, um, of Nazi fake news. And, you know, hashtag, that escalated quickly. And so, uh, one of the things that we're interested in is, how did we break the internet? Um, so, uh, let's see, the internet... Uh, do you know, I've entirely forgotten it. <laughs> it would help. Sorry. This, this isn't just a fashion accessory. This is, you know, this is genuine old age. I'm going to have to change my glasses now. Excuse me. this internet that we broke. Um, and so the, perhaps a good idea is to think about what are the three most important sites that we've got in the UK at the moment. Uh, so the first one, of course, do you have to put that on there? There we go. The first one, of course, is Google. Now, Google is phenomenal. Uh, what Google does is it scrapes all the data from billions of websites all across the world just to make it easy for you and me to look up anything that's ever been written, right? Now, it's, it's like someone went into the British Library with a chainsaw and decided to rearrange every single page into alphabetical order just to make it easier for us. Oh, hello, what are you interested in? Aardvarks. Oh, that's really useful because just here, up on the top left-hand corner of the first shelf, that's where you'll find it. Brilliant. Everything's fantastically easy now. Second stage. Let's replace all the book covers with adverts. Mm. Third stage. Let's sack all the librarians. Now, there's, you'll see this repeated in lots and lots of internet and web companies. And there's a term for it in Silicon Valley, it's called pivoting. And it's what happens when you take your company from operating unprofitably to evilly. Right? <laughs> and that's basically the way for you. Second most uh, popular website is YouTube. Now, YouTube is just basically all the video on the whole planet ever. And if you, if you were to look at, um, if you were to take all of the video that YouTube serves in one minute, right, just one minute, and you were to try and watch that yourself, you would die of old age before you were allowed to skip the first advert. <laughs> third, third most popular website, Facebook. All right, now Facebook, Again, astonishing huge numbers, over a billion users, right? A billion users all brought together across the planet 
friends, families, community groups, and I loathe it because it's turned really quickly into the kind of uh, bragging about you know, sort of false families, fake families, fantasy lifestyles that everyone has. People showing off to each other, just like one of those round robin Christmas letters. Um, and and um, it's, if you want to know where fake news started, it's not Russian bots, it's not alt-right activists, it's middle-class mummies and daddies bragging about how, how lovely it is that Georgie has been learning his alphabet, how much progress he's made since they signed him up for the Montessori MOOC, right? <laughs> this, we are the cause of all of this uh, misery that we've visited on the world, you know. Hello, middle classes. Anyway, uh, so those are, the th those are the most popular ones. But how do you make a web? There's three secrets. What Tim Berners-Lee created in CERN, I love it, I love it. The fact that he, he created it in an underground nuclear research lab, like something out of James Bond. You know, no, Mr. Bond, I expect you use Wi-Fi. And it's, it, there are three secrets. It's just URLs, and they're the web addresses that you type in, all right? They're the weirdly specific web addresses. They're, they're like, um, like you put an address on an envelope, but you don't just put, oh, I live, you know, one through four in the road. You say, um, second floor, master bedroom, uh, the second wardrobe on the left, the fourth hanger, the pair of jeans, back pocket, the lecture notes, which I think I left there. You know, you can, you can, you can give an address, really specific address for anything, and you can get it. Um, but you don't just have to address those, you can just address the whole bedroom, all right? And that's what you type into your browser. Then HTTP is like a man with a van who goes and gets all that stuff for you. And if it was just the notes in the back of your pocket, goes and gets them, brings them to you. If it's the whole bedroom, packs it into some crates, disassembles the furniture, puts it in the van, brings it, reassembles the furniture, leaves the crates in your, you know, wherever you are. And the HTML, that's the instructions that you give to the decorators on how to recreate the bedroom in wherever you are. All right, okay, so put the, put the rug there and the, the portrait over the fireplace. Now, that's how you build a web. And the secret of web science is that that was just what the technologists did. That was what the computer scientists did. That was what Tim Berners-Lee did. And then you give it, to society and say, well, what do you make of this? Uh, computer scientists made home pages. Society went, hmm, I think we prefer to have social networks. Computer scientists made streaming media and Netflix. And society went, hmm, Netflix and chill very much. <laughs> and then computer scientists made, ooh, we're going to do uh, cryptography, we're going to do online shopping for everyone, and society went, what? <laughs> society went, born and cybercrime, and all those other lovely things. So, that's what my job is, uh, to find out, you know, sort of how can we make the web better for everyone. Thank you very much.